Okay, today we got the loof lighter. It's used to start fires for charcoal and wood chips, and it says bigger chunks of wood too. It appears to be like a heat gun. It is recommended that you drink PBR when you use one of these. Selected America's Best in 1893. It says it'll start charcoal in a minute. So it's plugged in. You gotta hold your finger on the button. I guess that's for safety reasons, so you don't leave it on and burn your house down or whatever. Makes me wonder if maybe you should run it first for a bit before you put, put it to your charcoal just to make it go faster. We're 28 seconds in. Oh, I see sparks. It says when you see sparks to hold it back a bit. Oh, look at that. Oh. It does work. I guess that's better than using lighter fluid. Nobody likes that lighter fluid taste. Since it keeps blowing air when you use it, it will get your lit charcoal going better. Just like if you were to blow on it yourself or you other means to blow on it. I mean, yeah, it'll start charcoal in a minute, but you do have to keep moving it around unless you have uh, one of those charcoal lighter tubes where you're just going to light the bottom. You know, I think it's better if you don't take it off the charcoal right away. I mean, hey, the thing works. Would be cool if you didn't have to hold your finger on the button the whole time, though. But I get why they do that. But it's definitely like a heat gun. Makes me wonder if you had a really strong heat gun, if you could do the same thing. You probably could. I don't really think you need to back off right away once you see the sparks. I think you just hold her to it and then put her on another spot. I like it. It is a 110 volt. You do need to plug this one in. I saw in their manual though, they do make a cordless one, which would be cool for campers. Hey, anytime you don't have to use lighter fluid to start your charcoal, that's a plus. Oh yeah, look at that thing go. <laughs> it's actually kicking ass. They do say that you can advance the fire by doing what I just did if you're in a hurry to get your charcoal going. Pretty cool. Probably one of the coolest things about it is you don't need a fuel source and you can start your charcoal in different spots so you get an even burn on your charcoal. It works pretty quick once this sucker heats up, you know. Pretty sweet. So after a few minutes, it cools down. I got my hand on it right now. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see, let's switch hands here. You know, it's not hot anymore. Uh, it's got this thing here. I think that is for hanging it up. I'd probably use it as a bottle opener. Um, I like the loof lighter. So, the loof fire starter. Definitely does what it's supposed to do. It's excellent for starting charcoal. I could see where if you wanted to start like a fire pit or something, if you had some cardboard and stuff or some small kindling, it'd work very well for that too. 
uh, the portable one is probably pretty cool. I would imagine that uh, hiking and camping it's awesome for. Because um, I'm sure you've all been there where you're trying to start your charcoal with matches and newspaper and it just doesn't seem to get going. Or that lighter fluid taste. Blech. Anyways, the Loof Lighter. Thumbs up.